Okay, I want to do a video on this because it was super hard to figure out and there wasn't a lot of stuff out there um, about this. So I just wanted to do a quick video, um, show you how simple it is to set up and uh, we'll go from there. So the first thing we're going to do is open up terminal and I am going to expand this just a little bit so it looks a little better. Okay, so we're going to um, get to root here and then the first thing we're going to do is um, run apt get install free radius now we're going to hit enter do you want to continue just hit yes or why whatever works best for you it's going to go ahead and install that it's going to take a minute here and it's installed so it's pretty quick free radius is pretty small I think so it's not it installs really fast um, so everything that you need to know about is located under Etsy free radius 3.0 do a list here you can see Everything in here is what we need pretty much to make free radius uh, work. And the main files you'll be using will be clients.conf and users. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the we're going to go to the clients.conf file and we're going to add our router and our access point in that so um, I'm not sure if I have Vim installed on this yet but let's try it it's... nope so let me hurry and install that I like using Vim. It's like one of my favorite editors. Okay, so that's done. Let's uh, clear this screen and do a list again just so you know where we're at. Um, so now we're going to vin it, uh, Vim or edit clients.conf. All right, we are going to scroll down here. And just right here is where we are going to start. Just uh, right above client localhost, we're going to type insert. And we're going to enter, we're going to delete that. And we are going to add in client. The IP address of your firewall or router, 192. 1.1 is mine currently. Uh, then we're going to put this guy here and do a tab. And then we're going to type secret right here. Equals. And then we'll just do radius. Um, we're going to do enter again, tab. And then we're going to do short name equals and I'm just gonna put the UDM dash pro here and then we're gonna close that but we're gonna hit enter again I like to kind of space these apart a little bit and then we're gonna do client 
192.168.1.55, I believe was my um, access point. Just checking real quick to make sure. Um, we're going to add that in there. Hit return, tab, add the secret. And this is what's going to be used when you create the profile in Unify um, for a Radius server. So we're going to do the same password here for secret and then short name just means pretty much we're just giving this a name so we know what it is. Um, this is going to be U6-Lite because that's the access point I'm using for this configuration. And then we're going to close that out. And that is everything for the client's file. So in here we've added the firewall and the U6 light access point. Now we're going to go ahead and hit escape, colon, right quit, and hit enter. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is add a user in here. So now we're going to go to Vim. We're in the same directory, 3.0. We're going to do vim users and we're going to scroll down to here and it already shows a password here uh, or a, an entry here for how you're supposed to set a password. Um, so we're just going to use this one since it's already there and we're going to uncomment that for a test since we're testing this. And that's about it in this file. This is where you add every user that you want to be able to connect uh, to Wi-Fi with a Radius profile. Um, you can also supposedly do Mac authentication. And that is actually one of the main purposes for my video is hoping that someone has used Radius before and has uh, successfully set up plain Mac auth authentication because I have not been able to get it to work for the life of me. Um, so anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and exit this file. But in, in the case that you were going to do a um, Mac address for a user, you would just put the Mac address right here as Steve in place of that. And then the same thing right here for the password. So we're going to escape this since we uncommented Steve. We're going to do colon, right quit, and exit that file. Um, now the only thing we need to do is start up the service. And then we should be able to um, go configure the profile um, in Unify to be able to access the Radius server. So we'll do system CTL start free radius. Hit enter. Um, if you want to check and just verify that it's running, you can go back here and do system status free radius. And it shows us that it's running right here. Okay, so I think that's everything that we need to do for the Radius server for right now. Um, so now let's go ahead and move over to Unify. Okay, I've already created a, a profile here, but um, if you need to create a new one, you would just click here. Um, this is one of the latest versions of Unify's um, system, so they've kind of changed things around a little bit here in profiles. It used to kind of be in a list, long list. Now they've added this, these kind of tabs, which is actually kind of nice. It separates everything so you don't get confused. 
So anything, anyways, we're gonna go into uh, free radius, but I just remember the first thing we need to check is my um, IP address on this virtual machine. And I am going to install NetTools because I like that just real fast. I'd rather use that than um, IP ADDR space show. Um, so let's get the IP of this uh, virtual machine. Type ifconfig, and this is our IP address for this VM, and we need to use that in Unify to set up the radius profile. So, like I said once again, I already had a radius profile created because I've been playing around with this. Um, so we'll just can we'll just use this one, and we'll go in and edit these. Let me go back to my VM again. So that was one one dot one fifty. So we're gonna put that in there one dot one five zero, and I need to change this password because I know it's different. So I'm just gonna type radius. This would be the shared secret that we created in the clients.conf file on the radius server. So that's gonna be radius. And then we're going to hit save changes. We're going to do the same thing for the radius accounting servers. I'm not sure if the accounting server is actually needed for free radius, but I just did this anyways, just in case. So we'll update the IP address there. And we'll change the secret to radius as well. And we'll save changes. All right, now we'll go ahead and hit apply. And then if you want, you would go back and I set up a couple of test networks for this. So what I'll do is just re-enable this radius test one. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go in here. We'll gotta hit done first. And we're gonna go into this guy and it's already set to WPA2 Enterprise. We're going to set it as free radius. And that should be everything we need. Um, this P PMF may need to be disabled in most cases. Um, you can try and enable it and just see, but from what I've seen, it needs to be disabled. And that's everything. Um, okay guys, this is the last part of the video. I just wanted to test this on a different laptop to show you that our setup works and that we can connect to Wi-Fi using our new Radius credentials. So I'm just going to connect this Radius test network that I came up with and we're going to hit connect and we're going to type in steve because that's the user we created in free radius and we're going to type in the password which is testing as you can see here and that's what we used in free radius as well in our users config file and we're going to go ahead and hit ok and connect and we are connected using our credentials um, if anyone knows how to get Mac authentication working just plain Mac auth working for free radius I would love to have some insight on that or someone that knows how to get that working um, and hopefully I can reach someone through this video to help with that. Um, if you or anyone you know knows how to do that, please leave something in the comments. If you guys like this video, please subscribe and share it. 
and thank you so much for watching.